Hey, what's up guys? Matt here with your Wednesday Word. I want you to think about this this week, the light versus the darkness. And I want you to, to after this video, realize it takes the light to remove the darkness. Now, if you're like me, so many times you, you see your own flaws, you see your shortcomings, and you want to fix those so you can have a presentable item, a, a worthy sacrifice with yourself, a, a, a holiness, so to speak, to bring to God. But the problem is we are bringing darkness to the light, and we need to switch that. We need to get in the habit as Christians that we bring the light to our darkness. See, when Jesus Christ came to here on this earth, he lived a perfect life and as an example for us. He ultimately died on the cross to set us free, to give us grace, to give us mercy. Now, this world teaches us to bog ourselves down with our own shortcomings, our own flaws, our own sin. But through Jesus Christ, that grace and mercy flows. So, a lot of times I realize in my life if I have bad habits, if I have uh, pride in my life, if I have sin that's constantly going on that I, I just cannot seem to, to shed away, what I'm doing, I'm trying too much on my own to, 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 to just push out the darkness. And the only way the darkness is going to be pushed out is by bringing in the light. You have a dark room, you bring in a candle, it lights up. You can't have a, a lit room and bring in darkness. You have to bring in the light to the darkness. That's what I want to challenge you. You've heard me talk about the song, Come As You Are, David Crowder. I've played that one before. You have to come as you are, or as the old hymn says, just as I am. Um, you have to come as you are and allow that light to penetrate your life. So if you've got bad habits, you can't simply remove those bad habits and expect your life to be changed. You have to replace them with the light. You have to you have to bring in scripture. The Bible is is not just great thoughts about God, it's revelation from God. The Bible reveals who God is. The Bible reveals what God has done in the past, what he's doing now, and what he's going to do. So we have to bring in God's word and and, and pray about it and meditate on it, surround ourselves with other believers to bring in that light in our life that can ultimately change us, then we can be more presentable to God. Because trust me when I say this, and I fall victim to this all the time, if you think you're going to get your life together and cleaned up and worthy enough to present to God, you're never going to do anything. If you think you can get your life set up in a way now you are fully equipped, you have all the answers ready, now I can do work for the Lord. It's never going to happen. It never, ever, ever will happen. You constantly have to live your life as a vessel that God works through. Remember, He is the potter and we are the clay. Don't ever forget that. He is the potter, we're the clay. We must be a vessel that God works through our life. And when you pray that, not my will but thine be done, God work through me. Give me wisdom, give me strength, give me faith enough to know my strength and my abilities all come through you. It's not on my own will. And when we constantly when we remind ourselves of his grace and his mercy and his love, it empowers us to a life of surrender. So I want to challenge you with that today. When, when you have those dark areas in your life, pray and ask God to bring in the light that only he can bring in. That's your Wednesday word. ChowAcousticSelection.com. Have a great day. God bless you.